Good evening, Stevens Point, and welcome back to campus. I'm Maddie Larson, and in this week's news, an interesting arrest in Stevens Point, a UCLA lecturer arrested, and Army vaccine mandates. All of this and more when we return. Stevens Point teenager Owen Gross was arrested this past Sunday evening after failing to stop at a stop sign and then getting into a chase with police around town. Police officers followed him with their light and sirens off to catch him easily. Officers found him hiding behind buildings many times and following tire tracks in the snow. And Gross fled each time. Gross was found hiding behind a business and officers approached the vehicle on foot when Gross fled again this time striking an officer with a driver's side mirror. Officers followed him and eventually performed a pit maneuver to stop the vehicle. Gross was arrested and will most likely be charged with operating under the influence, drug possession, and battery on an officer, and more. Wisconsin legislative Republicans are proposing a bill that would restrict abortions if a heartbeat is detected, which is similar to a bill that was passed by Texas Governor Greg Abbott last year. The Wisconsin bill proposed notes that if doctors continue with an abortion, they will be investigated. And abortion providers can be sued if not following the bill. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers will most likely veto the bill if it manages to get to his office. The U.S. Army has begun discharging soldiers who refuse to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The Army said in an official statement, soldiers discharged due to vaccine refusal will not be el eligible for involuntary separation pay and may be subject to recompt any of the unearned special or incentive pays. 96% of active duty soldiers are currently vaccinated, while 79% are reservists. A UCLA lecturer was arrested after emailing a threatening video and an 800-page document stating that he will commit violence on the school and hunt and kill a professor. Matthew Harris was a graduate of Duke and Cornell and became a postdoctoral fellow at the University of California, Los Angeles. Former classmates of his stated that he was predatorial on women by sending excessive texts and emails. One classmate reported she changed her schedule due to his harassment and would receive messages from him asking where she was. When Harris sent in his manifesto of violence against UCLA, the university canceled classes for the day and Harris was arrested at his Colorado home. His documents had racist threats and the words kill, bomb, and shot at least 12,000 times. That's all I have for news and now we'll take it over to Brody Kupski for entertainment. The Media Studies is a program for people who love to tell stories, whether that be in written form, visual, or audio. Media Studies is exciting because it's always fresh, it's always new. Media is at the center of everything we do. More and more people are asked to engage with media and use media. Our program really provides students with skills and techniques to be better prepared for that in the future. We offer courses in media production, both video and audio, nonfiction and fiction, music production, journalism, film studies. Media studies is a great way to get hands-on experience in the field that you're looking to do. They teach you the basic concept behind everything, and then they tell you to go do it. We really pride ourselves on thinking of a wide set of opportunities that we can give our students. Our student organizations are a great asset. We have SPTV, the uh, student television organization, 90FM, the radio, and the pointer our student-run newspaper. It's a great way for students to get involved, learn skills that they need for class, and meet new people. Some great facilities where our students can hone their skills. There's a giant studio in the center of the comm building. I've had quite a few classes in there. A lot of our classes are very hands-on. They're very interpersonal. You're getting the skills that will allow you to create your future, and I think that's what makes it a truly amazing experience for students. There's an incredible range of options for graduates. We've had students go out and become independent contractors, work for radio stations, newspapers, with TV stations. Everyone is different, and they have their own unique 
meet style. In all the classes and all the student organizations you get involved in, you have a lot of flexibility to really create your own work and do it in a way that means something to you. We're excited to see what students are making and what they want to make and how we can help students get from where they are to where they want to be. I'm in a video production class that's teaching me how to film documentaries. I'm also in a screenwriting class and I get to learn how to write movies. So I'm doing all these different cool things and I love it every day. Hey partners, I'm Brody Kupski, here with your entertainment updates. Are you sad and single? Don't have any Valentine's plans? Well come on down to the Basement Brew House. There will be trivia, crafts and candy, live music, and more. This will be on Monday, February 14th from 6 to 9 p.m. Speaking of the Basement Brew House, they will also be hosting, you guessed it, an open mic night. Come show off any hidden talent you may have and impress your fellow students. This will be on February 17th at 7.30. The brew house also wants to remind you that sign-up sheets to perform will be posted on the counter at noon the day of the performance. The campus is in desperate need of some comedy. Comedian Rojo Perez will be on campus to bring out your best laughs. A Puerto Rican native, Perez was seen on Comedy Central, Jimmy Fallon, and more. He will be in the DUC on February 16th at 8 p.m. That's all I have for entertainment. Now let's pass it on to Ryan Kreck for his sports updates. 90FM is uh, the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point alternative radio station. Um, it, you know, showcases some really awesome new music and old alternative music. So it's a really great opportunity for students to get involved in radio um, and, and, and in all the processes that happen behind the scenes. 90FM is an important experience because it offers things that no place else, maybe not only on campus but at other universities. We have a general staff of over 100 volunteers, a lot of which are community volunteers. So those are people that are living in Stevens Point. This beautiful radio station, you are tuned into College Radio Day. Right here on 90FM, your only alternative just has the potential to be something uh, as great as you want to make it. Uh, can you tell our viewers what radio station they should be listening to? You should listen to 89.9 90FM, your only alternative. Hey Pointers, Ryan here with all of your SBTV sports updates. The 10th ranked Pointers men's hockey team took down UW Superior in the regular season's final home game at KB Willett Arena, deadlocked at one. Both teams went into overtime period gassed, but it was the Pointers' Connor Witherspoon who was able to provide a spark for the team and eventually put the team on top with a game-winning goal. The Pointers are now 16-5-1 and poised to make a run at the WIAC regular season title. A number one seed is also still in play for the Pointers team, but they still have to take it one game at a time. The Pointers will be in action this Friday when, the, when they head over to Ashland to take on Northland College for a weekend series. The Pointers men's basketball team played in their second consecutive top five ranked team last night when they took on number three UW Oshkosh. It was a tale of two halves for the Pointers, struggling heavily in the first half, only shooting 28% from the field. The second half was a different story, as the Pointers were essentially playing even with the Titans, scoring 35 points in the second half and only allowing 38. Unfortunately for the Pointers, they were unable to stop Levi Brochert, who went off for 20 points and 11 rebounds. The Titans were in a deadlock at the top of the WIAC with both Platteville and Lacrosse, and presumably whoever wins the WIAC will have a good chance at a top two seed in the NCAA tournament. The Lady Pointers basketball team are 10 and 9 and have a big opportunity in front of them when number 18 e UW Eclair comes to town on senior day. With two games to go, the Lady Pointers have a chance at gaining momentum going into the WIAC conference tournament. The huge game is against the Blue Golds is at 3 p.m. in Berg Gym this Saturday. Well, that'll do it for sports this week. Make sure to tune in to Sports Hub with Will Haroldson for more information on UW SP Sports. And as always, roll dogs. Well, that's all we have this week at SBTV. As always, stay safe, stay warm, and have a great night.